Hello and welcome to another Cycle Ref TFM video, Fundamental Training for Marketers, brought to you by 3Chilies, the experienced technology experts. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to create lists in Cycle's Email Experience Manager, otherwise known as EXM. In the last video, we took a quick look at the process of creating and sending emails in EXM, and I told you that I prefer to create my recipient list, the list of email addresses that will receive my email campaign, before I even begin to create my actual email campaign. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. So you can create lists of your recipients from either the email experience manager or in a tool called the list manager. And actually, when you create lists in the email experience manager, you're really just using the list manager functionality. So in that way, it doesn't really matter where you create your contact lists because both of them are stored in the same place and all lists are available from either application. To create a list in EXM, on the EXM dashboard, click Create, and then in the menu that appears in the Create List section, click the type of list that you want to create. They all pretty much do what they say on the tin, but let's quickly look at the different options here. Choose Recipient List from File if you want to create a contact list and import the recipients from a CSV, TXT, or Excel file. So this option is massively helpful in situations where you want to transfer contacts into Sitecore from a third-party system you're using, such as your CRM system, for example. Or you might happen to have an Excel spreadsheet full of leads that you want to get into Sitecore. You can import those contacts from the CSV directly into the List Manager, and we're going to show you how to do that. So if you choose this option, you'll go through to the Import Contacts dialog box where you can upload your file and go through the quick process of mapping the header cells from your spreadsheet into Sitecore. So just a quick note on that, you'll want to make sure that your spreadsheet looks something like this. It's important to know that Sitecore won't use this top row of data because it'll want to use that for the mapping process. It's also important to note that as a minimum, you'll need a separate column for the first name, the last name, and the email address since all of those fields are required. When you click through to the next page, you'll be able to see the results of your upload, and if you missed any of the required information off, Sitecore won't import those contacts, so it's really important to make sure that your data is clean and complete before you start. Okay, let's head back to the other options that we're faced with and briefly run through the capability of each of those. So you would choose recipient list from existing list to create a contact list that is based on an existing contact list that you've already set up in Sitecore. Select empty recipient list if you'd like to create an empty contact list that you can work with. So you might want to use this if you've created a sign-up form on your website and you automatically want to add those customers that use that sign-up form into a blank list. This is the option that you would use for that. Pick segmented list from all recipients if you want to create a new segmented list using all of your current contacts that you have in Sitecore as your list source. And finally, choose segmented list from existing list if you want to create a segmented list that is based on an existing contact list that you've already built here in Sitecore. Okay, so now you know how to create a list of recipients for use here in EXM. Now we can begin to create our email campaign, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in the next video. This video was brought to you by 3Chilies, the experienced technology experts. For more free Sitecore training videos, head over to 3chilies.co.uk forward slash training, or if you'd like to organize a bespoke training day for your marketing team, email us or give us a ring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video useful.